Over the course of this long trial, Travis Alexander was called a lot of terrible things that the prosecutor, the general public, and presumably the jurors just didn't believe, given the fact that they convicted Jody Arias of premeditated murder. Uh, but by the same token, there were wonderful things about Travis Alexander that none of us really knew. Well, over the course of investigating this trial in this case, uh, come to find out that uh, some of my passions, love of animals, Travis Alexander shared them as well. I spoke with Travis's good friend, Sean Alexander, no relation, but a good buddy of Travis's, who told me about Travis's deep love of animals, all animals. Yeah, he was a big animal lover. Loved, uh, loved his animals. Loved Napoleon. He loved that dog, and he did everything for that dog. You know, so he, he was a, a definite animal guy in general. So it was, uh, was kind of nice. It was nice to have a dog in the house with a whole bunch of crazy guys. One night, Travis decided to have us start watching the show, which I later learned was called Earthlings. Uh, which ultimately is a brutal show that shows all the inner workings behind the scenes to the uh, slaughter industry. If a being suffers, there can be no moral justification for refusing to take that suffering into consideration. Similarly, speciesists allow the interests of their own species to override the greater interests of members of other species. We got to watch a bunch of brutally murdered cows and chickens and how they mistreat all the animals and so on and so forth. And, uh, really struck a chord with him. Um, he kind of made it a point then that we started eating healthier and a lot more vegetables, a lot more fruits, and cut out a lot of the meat uh, from our diets. You know, as much as uh, nine single young guys could cut out meat, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was uh, all of a sudden it was a complete change of how we were eating and what we were doing at the house. It's hard to watch. It's hard to stomach. It's hard to believe that that type of stuff actually happens in our country. I think I think that was the most shocking part to it was that that those types of practices are widespread and they happen everywhere. One of those things that really give you nightmares. When you watch it, it really changes your whole view of, uh, of the meat industry across the board. So right. it really made a big difference for him. It turns out this saga is nowhere near over. A status conference right here at the Maricopa County Courthouse June 20th, and then a trial date currently set for July 18th. We will be all over it. But a final word from my heart I respect the hard work that the jurors put in, and my heart goes out to everyone whose lives were shattered by this terrible, terrible act of violence. Nancy, next.